Today we're going to talk about three reasons why an updated website will help you fill your mobile home or RV parks vacant spaces. And this video is for you if your park has an outdated website, no website, or a minimal website. And by a minimal website, I'm talking about a site that has maybe two or three pages and there's not a lot of information there. So who am I and why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name's Jason Ayers. I'm the founder of sendmoreleads.com and we focus specifically on mobile home, RV park, and campground marketing. And what we do is we help you fill your vacant spaces using the internet and we test our strategies with our own parks. I grew up in the mobile home park and RV park business and we have three generations of my family that are in the business in the forms of ownership and management. And I'm also the creator of Mobile Home Park Classroom, which is an online training program that RV park and mobile home park owners use to train their managers. Uh, they essentially just give their managers a login and the manager can go through and get trained. So what are some of the signs that you need an updated website? Well, you may not be getting very many calls from potential tenants or you may not be making very many reservations. And other parks in the area may have lower vacancy rates than you have, which is a, an indicator that something's going wrong. And those are all really just symptoms of a deeper problem. And the real problem is that what works to fill your vacancies has changed. Ultimately, this results in higher vacancy rates and lost revenue for you. So to really get an idea of how much this is costing you, you can use the lost rent calculator on our website. So let's go over to sendmoreleads.com and see how that works. So here on send more leads, we just click on rent calculator. And none of this information is stored. It's just for your use. Uh, and what we can do is we can say, okay, average number of vacant spaces, Let's say we have 13 vacant spaces. We're open uh, 12 months out of the year. Uh, monthly rental rate, let's say it's $380. So you can see here that assuming a 90% occupancy rate, because you're going to have people that come and go, uh, especially if your park's just an RV park and not a mixed park, you're losing about $4,446 a month in lost revenue and annually that's fifty three thousand three hundred and fifty two dollars a year in in potential lost gross revenue and what that means is if there are tenants in your market and your your challenge is really just attracting them to your park instead of watching them go down the street to your competition then your existing marketing is costing you $53,352 a year in addition to anything that you're paying for the marketing itself because you're not filling those spaces up to 90% to occupancy rate. Now, nobody can guarantee you that you're going to get to 90%, but we've seen very effective results from using online marketing, from having updated an updated website and from doing what we're doing. So it's, it's something to consider uh, if you're leaving all of that money on the table, essentially. So th that's obviously a big problem. So let's, let's look at what you can do about it. Well, reason number one to have an updated website is if they can't find you, they can't rent from you. And to do this, you really got to ask yourself the question, what are your potential tenants doing to find a space? So let me share a story with you to illustrate this. In 2010, we started to notice a disturbing trend. Classified ads, yellow pages, and printed directories stopped working to fill our vacancies. And in 2011, I took what I learned from marketing commercial real estate online and from my background in marketing, and I created a plan. And I presented it to the owners, and they had mixed reactions. So. The first reaction was from one of the owners was this internet crap doesn't work. People don't use the internet to find RV spaces. They don't use the internet to find mobile home spaces and it won't work. And you know, that, that kind of skepticism is uh, I think healthy and it's a natural, natural reaction. 
especially if you don't have any experience with it and you haven't seen it work, right? It's natural to do that. But the owner, other owner had a, uh, an interesting reaction, which is she said, it's advertising. We can write it off, right? We're going to have to pay this big tax bill anyway, so we can write it off. Let's just see what happens. And as it turns out, that was the, the right strategy. So what happened? Well, the park had its best year since 1973. And of course, your results may vary and um, you know these results may not be typical, but here's what I can tell you. Now, 90, 95% of our tenants come from the internet, from the work we did on the website and from the work we did on the internet to generate more leads, to, to get more tenants to the park. So reason number two that you need an updated website is if your site is outdated, it sends the wrong message. So here's the message it essentially sends. We're an old park and we don't take care of things, right? If your website looks like it's very old and it needs to be updated, you're not consciously sending that message, but subconsciously the person looking at your site uh, gets the message that, hey, we're an old park, we don't take care of things. So first impressions count, especially when you have competition that they can compare your park against. Now, reason number three that you need an updated website if you want to fill your vacancies is the right website sells your prospects on renting from you. So you can hire any designer to make your website look pretty. And I've seen a lot of pretty website designs that don't work very well. So what's the purpose of having a website for your park? Well, the purpose is not to look pretty or to provide information. The purpose of your website is to fill your vacant spaces. So we want your website visitors to call, reserve, or inquire, which means your site needs to be designed to get a response. And generating a response depends on your website design and good copywriting. And you, you may not be familiar with the term copywriting. Copywriting is the art and science of selling using the written word. It's how you use emotions and calls to action and logic and reason and how you put it all together in a way that causes the person to want to take action. So make sure you pick a trustworthy design for your site and write the text on your website to sell your visitors on renting from you instead of just making it informational. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. And if you wanna find out if we can help you implement this, the first step is to apply for a review of your market and your website if you have one. So we'll review your market, your competition, and your website if you have one. And if you don't have a website, it doesn't matter because we're gonna review your market and your competition and we'll provide you with a specific list of proven steps you can take to start generating more leads and start filling your park using your website and the internet. And we'll also determine whether or not we can help you get better results than you're getting now. So one of the things that we do is we generally only work with one park in a market because we don't want to compete against ourselves. And some parks uh, may not qualify depending on the condition of the park or other factors. So this is really how we determine whether or not we can help you if that's something that you want. So here's how to get started. On the website, just click on get started and then step one is a marketing review of your current website. If you click on that, it'll take you to a video that explains everything and that's where you can get started. Or click the link below this video and it will take you to the same place.